Okay, in our next animation, we're actually going to draw a lighthouse, and we need to do a little more planning. In the first one, the bouncing ball, we just had to plan where our bounce was going to happen. Uh, go ahead and tap the home button and tap the uh, new drawing button. Now in this one, we're going to do a lighthouse with the light going around to it. So let's first draw the lighthouse. So I'm going to get my color picker here. I'm going to draw gray. This is going to be kind of the ground where the lighthouse is on. I've got a 16, uh, 16 brush. So I'm going to just draw a rocky coast here. So there, there's the rocks that the lighthouse sits on. And then lighthouses are mostly white, but since the, it won't really show up here in the background, let's go with the color picker. Well, I guess we have a clear background, so uh, let's just go with a light gray so we can still see it easy enough. Okay, so then uh, let's see, lighthouses are tall, so I'm just going to kind of come up. And then they have that window section right there, right? That's where the light is, and then a little peaked roof on top of it. And there's our lighthouse. I'm going to use the paint bucket. I'm going to fill this bottom part and this top part. So just that area where the window or the glass is, where the light's going to come out, is uh, the part that I need there. Now in the ball animation, we just made a new frame all the time. But in this one, we're going to do a little bit different. And this is the lesson I want you to learn from this one, is that the things that remain the same in an animation, you can copy those so that uh, we don't have to redraw them every time. So uh, I'm, I'm planning out my animation, so the light's going to start by pointing at the camera, and then it's going to uh, shine out, around, and it's going to go around in circles. So let's see, so one is at the camera, then here. I'm thinking I could do it in 10 frames, so let's make sure by frame 5, halfway through our animation, that it's pointing the other direction here. And you'll understand that in a moment, but let's copy this 10 times. So I'm just going to go to here, I'm going to go uh, duplicate 10 times. That's one. So we have two there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our, our 10 frames of our animation here. I'm going to go back to uh, frame number one. And if we play this, nothing happens. It just looks kind of boring. So I'm going to hit done. I'm going to be on frame number one. I'm going to change to the yellow of our light, and I'm going to get a nice uh, big brush because I just need to face the camera with this. So I'm going to use the biggest brush possible, and I'm going to just draw a big circle of yellow. So it's just like it, just um, it's looking right at the camera, okay? So you see I'm just swirling all my yellow in there. So I'm actually painting over top of stuff we had done before. Okay, so there's the light shining right at us as the viewer, okay? Let's go to frame two, and now this light is slightly going to go over this way. Remember, we've got five frames until it gets to the other parts, so um, let's go ahead and shift this uh, yellow ball over to here. Okay, do you see how that shifted over? You can also see why I want the biggest brush possible. Okay, so our light is now moving over here to the uh, right. Okay, so there we go. Let's move to frame number three. Okay, so we've got to get to four and five here. So now let's have it um, shining out from the lighthouse here. So now I'm going to have like a beam of light, and it's going to shine. It's going to fill this whole area here. I hope you can see that on your screen there. Because I can see the ghosted images before, but now it's finally we can start to see the, the lighthouse behind it. Okay, so now it's shining out here to the side. Let me paint those in. Frame four, it should start to shine really away from us. So let me just, okay, so now it's kind of getting smaller. Okay, and um, let's go in frame five. It's got to be kind of on the other side of the lighthouse. Now watch how I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to my brush, and I'm going to say this is um, under the other things that we've drawn here, okay? So then I'm going to draw that. See how every time I lift up my stylus, it goes underneath the lighthouse? Okay, so now it's on the other side. Okay, and while that's still going, I'm going to 
draw on frame six that the lighthouse is kind of pointing out this way here. So you just really, these beams of light are going around in a circle here. So, so that's shining over there. And then frame seven is shining out this way. Okay, in eight, I want to start drawing over the lighthouse again. So I'm going to go to my brush and tell it that I want to be over whatever we're drawing. Okay, close that. And now we have it coming more towards us here. Fill in this area with yellow. And nine, it's getting closer. Now it's starting to cover up the screen here. So now we're not even seeing the lighthouse because it's starting to shine in the camera. A lot of yellow. Okay, and then um, this one is almost back to being centered. Because remember the first frame is it's looking right at the camera. This is almost at the camera here. So let me get all that all colored in. Okay, so I think we have ourselves a little bit of an animation. Let me just rewind it. Okay, so let's hit play and see what we got. See it going around and around? I mean, it's going fast, mind you, but it's going around and around. So there is our lighthouse. And if yours doesn't look right, it's okay. Just go ahead and press done. You can always go back to a frame and you can erase things with the eraser. Uh, things like that can make it look you know, so much better. So just go and clean things up and uh, have a fun time with it. And just go frame by frame and go ahead and make yourself a great lighthouse uh, animation.